You know, I tried to explain this stuff to some fellow Xbox fans, and they don't really get it, you know, because what happens is, to be honest with you, we see a lot of this stuff kind of pop up now and again and, and xbox fans have this little bit of i guess delusion would be the proper word for it but you know at the same time um you know we're seeing is people aren't buying xboxes right uh, that's not really a huge secret we gotta <laughs> we gotta be honest with this you know um to be crystal clear with all this stuff xbox is the only one not selling okay uh, i know people try to lump it all together and say console gaming is dying Hey guys, console gaming is dying for sure, right? We've we probably all heard that, but to be completely honest and clear about it, console gaming isn't dying. In fact, if you look at it, the Switch is about to break the all-time record for console sales. You know, it's going to break the uh, old PS2 record. And to be clear, the PS2 record, I've never looked at as being a great thing or a huge deal or whatever like that. Um because a lot of people bought the PS2 because it was the cheapest Blu-ray player at the time. If you think about it, uh, Blu-ray players were like a thousand bucks at the time. You get a PS2 for like $299. So there you go. But anyway, with that being said, um, we now have ideas of what the PS5 is doing in terms of sales. It continues to outpace the PS4, while Xbox has, has actually fallen behind xbox one and the 360 so the latest gaming sales data has been released for may of 2024 and with it comes the most recent numbers regarding uh overall current generation console sales both the playstation 5 and xbox series x and s were released the same week back in 2020 and both have had different sales journeys according to circana which was is that was the old uh you know npd back in the day the ps5 is outselling the ps4 by eight percent through its first 43 months on the other side of things however the xbox series consoles are behind the xbox one in sales during the same time span by 13 percent they also sit behind the xbox 360 during that same time period though percentages were given uh, they didn't give uh, data, didn't specifically unit totals for PS5 and Xbox Series. So what we know is Sony announced that they were almost at 60 million units um, recently. And the Xbox, we don't have, we'll ever get any kind of numbers from them. But what we did see was last July, uh, they were in Brazil doing like an indie game showcase. And they had a slide that leaked out. They said that they were at 21 million and we know through various leaks and things like that that like uh last quarter they only sold 800,000. so putting them in the 23 to 24 million range seems like a pretty smart bet so you're looking at basically 60 million versus a 23 million type of deal not a great look for xbox and you know again i know a lot of people will kind of downplay this and go, well, that's why they're doing this or that's why they're doing that. Uh, they've killed their their console sales, but they haven't done anything to really make up for that. You know, um, putting stuff on PC hasn't made up for that. Uh, putting stuff uh, on cloud hasn't made up for that. I know people go, oh, well, they just did the uh, cloud thing on, uh, on those uh, stream sticks or whatever. No, but they've been, ha they've had cloud stuff available on any phone or mobile device for multiple years now and it hasn't done any good so um when we look at this yeah you know it does look pretty bad uh the u.s is the xbox home turf you know so when you see that you kind of uh <laughs> you kind of understand where i'm coming from when i say that this is not a good look because uh, the two places that xbox sell is the u.s and uh, the uk so when we're kind of looking at this now and going, oh, man, uh, they're not doing a very good job here, are they? Because, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, in the UK, they're not doing very well either. I mean, Xbox used to dominate these places. So it's weird that it's not. So um, in the UK, the PS5, this just came out as well. Comfortable market leader selling more than Switch and Xbox combined um sales data has come through the biggest gaming market in europe 
the UK for the month of June 2024. Games Industry reporting that the PlayStation 5 rem- remains the uh, comfortable market leader in the console space and is currently selling more than Nintendo Switch and Xbox Series X and S combined. Uh, the best-selling game of the month there was EA Sports uh, FC 24, which has been given a sales boost due to the ongoing Euro 24 soccer tournament. So here's what's selling good on the UK digital and physical. Uh, basically, their EA soccer game, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, F124, which is a racing game, Elden Ring, Hogwarts Legacy, Sid Meier's Civilization 6, Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Grand Theft Auto Online, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. So, yeah, you know, uh, that's not exactly surprising either you know uh, listen the, the 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 games that are in the top aren't surprising at all um to be quite honest about it because at the end of the day uh those are games that are uh, most of them are older games and so when we look at this and, and we kind of see what's going on uh there hasn't been anything new to really take uh precedent over anything you know and that's that's a a really kind of sad thing to to say you know as a fan i'm sitting here going you know that's that's really bad you know <laughs> you know what i mean that, that there's not anything new because people were trying to talk up sea of thieves still being the top five for playstation 5 sales and i'm thinking to myself that's great and all but at the same time what has actually sold what has been sold been sell, sold or, or what's been out that's been new you know, like that's the that's the the bad part in my opinion. We haven't seen anything um, to to realistically understand what would be kind of taken away from that. So, you know, I'm not saying that the game isn't selling, but I'm just saying that we we're not really seeing any type of real sales in terms of that. So, so just because you see like a GTA on top right there or a Sea of Thieves. You know, because of there's not really anything much coming out, what that means is that they probably um, aren't exactly selling a ton to get that spot. So, you know, we kind of understand where they're coming from with this stuff. So, you know, it's an interesting uh, situation for sure. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I think uh, gaming fans, they have some things to be happy about always, uh, you know, but again, at the same time, uh, we'll have to see when I what happens in the future with this stuff. But again, uh, even I used to think, oh well, you know, the, the sales don't matter. But when you start to see like developers ignore Xbox or not put their games on Xbox, um, I feel like that is a problem. Uh, when you feel like you know when games aren't being properly optimized, and now we're starting to kind of see. Um, we're kind of starting to see this huge situation where you know gaming in general has kind of taken uh this whole thing uh in this weird direction and you know fans um you know we're, we're the ones that are gonna sit there and kind of push this in like a console war or whatever but for me uh the way that i'm looking at it uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it and going, you know, it's I missed it. Xbox used to be something, you know, Xbox used to be something really good. And now it's just like they don't really seem like they're that anymore. And they, and they don't seem like they care. It's like they they're, they just roll everything rolls off of, of what they do. And that's that's unfortunate to me because I liked Xbox when they were out there like doing some incredible things as, you know, a company and they were really kind of showcasing things that couldn't been done elsewhere so when we see that they're getting their their stool pushed in by playstation 5 and they're not really offering any kind of competition i think that's the real um bad part here is they're they're, they're not any competition you know which is gonna result in less stuff for us as fans you know and, and i hate to to be that guy but that's just the truth of the matter is we're not going to get anything um, because, you know, at the end of the day, Microsoft is putting their stuff on PlayStation. Uh, Microsoft is taking kind of a backseat with their hardware. They're saying, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, you can uh, you can play with this or that or the other thing. You know what I mean? You can play with with uh, weird, um, <laughs> uh, 
you know, you can play with weird uh, whatever, you know. And, and to me, that's uh, I'm not ever going to be a guy that's going to play on PC. I'm not going to play on. Uh, I'm not going to stream my games. You know, it's just I'm not going to do it. So you know, we'll see what happens. I hope you know some good things happen in the future, but uh, I have no high hopes. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Rack them up, Crap Gamer out.